Hey everyone, I'm Lacey McGilley and welcome back to The Dish, your home for all things Yankees. We've got a lot to talk about today, so let's jump right into it. Before we start talking about 2018, let's rewind the clock and highlight some of my favorite moments from last year. Here's my lineup. Starting with number nine was the acquisition of reigning NL MVP Giancarlo Stanton. Didi's post-team emoji fest had to make the list at number eight. My favorite late night variety show premieres at number seven, and that's the Tone Night Show featuring Ronald Torres. Number six is the 47 Moonshots launched by The Judge during his voyage to capture the Home Run Derby crown. Retiring number two was a big moment in my number five. Batting cleanup were the hilarious Yankees commercials. And at number three, I think we can all agree that the thumbs down movement was a big thumbs up. And since we did a whole lot of judging last year, next up, all rise. For number two on my list is Aaron Judge's record-breaking rookie Monster team. Power. And let me get a drum roll, please. My top moment of the year was, of course, the Yankees postseason run. They called it a rebuilding year, and boy, did the building go up fast. Gregorius. We're all thinking it, and not only is he the best human ever, but Didi Gregorius is the best in the game when it comes to big league players on social. So let's put 30 seconds on the clock so I can break down Sir Didi's posting skills. This offseason, the Yank shortstop showed off his creative skills like these superhero and time-lapse videos. And he also casually helped paint a mural. Didi vacationed in the Bahamas, where he jumped off cliffs, swam with sharks, you know, the usual. His TBT game is also on point, posting this of New Zealand from last year. Oh, and can we also talk about his inner model? That's quality stuff right there. Didi, please keep these coming, because we are all loving them. With spring training right around the corner, Everyone is back in the gym. But here's the thing, if you don't post about it, did it even happen? Am I right? Didi, Severino, Chapman, Hicks, and Frazier posted their proof. Sanchez showed off his skills both at and behind the plate. Tanaka let out some steam in this bullpen session. And Stan, well, he's getting fans all types of fired up. To wrap up our social pitch, here's a quick rundown of what the players were up to outside of their workout grinds. Chappie started the new year by throwing a giant celebration at his home in Miami. Tyler Austin got engaged and some of the guys gave back to their communities and foundations. Boone, Gray, Toe, El Gary, and Sevy, just to name a few, shared pics of their quality family time. Aww. So cute! Skip and Hicks played around a golf and Cece went on a safari in South Africa with his family. Wow, talk about an experience of a lifetime. But hold on a second before we move on, here's your Mr. Delicious fix. I know, I know, you're welcome. In our last episode, we asked you guys to show us how you incorporated the Yankees into your holidays. And let me just tell you, I'm very impressed with all of the entries, but here are some of my faves. From light up sweaters, to decked out Christmas trees, to receiving the ultimate gifts, everything was amazing. But at Big Yankees fan, you take the cake, my friend. Wow. From all of us here at The Dish, thanks for tuning in. And be sure to check out our next episode for an exclusive look at this year's spring training down in Tampa. You're not going to want to miss it. Trust me. Lily out.